Hey, this is Trent. Welcome back to GuitarAnimal.com. And I'm going to talk today about everybody's favorite thing to talk about on guitar, and that's bar chords. I know a lot of beginners really hate trying to get bar chords down. Um, there are some tricks that I can help you with. It takes practice. It's one of the few things that you will attempt to do over and over again, and you're just not getting in it. It doesn't sound good. But then all of a sudden, hey, I almost did it. And then, hey, I can do it some of the time. And then almost every time. And finally, you can do it every time. So it just requires practice over and over again. Know this. If you're playing guitar, you, some of my students will be like, you know, I'll wait till next year to get bar chords down because it'll be easier. It will not. If you don't practice bar chords, you will be no better at doing them a year from now than you are right now. So you have to practice them right up front. Many times I'll introduce bar chords to my students within the first three or four weeks of their practice so they can start working on it because they realize it's going to take two to three months of practice to be able to play them. So a few things that you want to do. First off, let's look at some of the bar chord shapes and the idea behind the bar chord. If I look at this A minor chord here, which is an open chord, it's a fifth string rooted open chord. That means the root notes on the fifth string. If I move that up a whole step, which would be two frets, I would think, well, that would be B minor except two of the notes that I was playing in my A minor were open strings, the open first and the open fifth string. So I need to replace that nut that did not come with me with my first finger, and that's the bar. Now the posture that you want to have, you really want to teach your first finger to lay on its side, okay? I'm not using the face on my finger, I'm using this back edge of it. There's a number of reasons for that. One, if you look at your finger, it's convex there comes up, so it's going to press against the fingerboard, which is also convex, very well. Two, it's a very bony ridge, as opposed to the face of your finger, which has a lot of soft tissue and indentations for the joints. Those are areas where the strings can get into, and you would have to press down even harder to get the notes to ring. So lay the finger on your back edge. You know you're in the right posture when between your middle finger and your ring fingers there's an open V. That's what we want. So lay it on its back edge, the index finger. On a fifth string rooted chord, I'm reaching over, I'm going to hold down the fifth string. The sixth string, I'm just touching with my fingertip. I don't need that note, and so I want to just mute it with my fingertip. So when I'm playing a fifth string rooted bar chord like A or B minor, B minor is the bar chord, A is just the open chord, I'm going to mute out that sixth string. Now my thumb is right on the other side of the neck, right underneath that index finger, and that's what I'm clamping down with. Okay, it's called bridging. I'm going to put my thumb right in the middle of the back of the neck, right underneath that bar finger. The other three fingers are coming up and laying down on their fingertips. Now this is also odd. You don't come to the guitar with the knowledge of using your fingers in different ways. We either use them all one way or another way. In this case, three of my fingers, I'm using the fingertip and they're coming up and away from the fingerboard and my bar finger is laying on its side. This is something that's learned and it takes hours of practice to get. Do not be discouraged. Also, do not try to play this your first day an hour at a time. Five minutes, 10 minutes a day, every day. You can do five minutes twice a day, that's great, but always come back to it. It's reps, reps, reps. As many times as you can practice this, the quicker you're gonna get it down. This is B minor. I can take the same shape, move it up a half step to the third fret and it's C minor. Move it up to the fifth fret is D minor. Seventh fret is E minor. So you can see that when you learn one shape, you get many chords out of it. You do have to practice it in all these different shapes or all these different positions, but the shape is the same. Now, I should also note that in the middle of the neck up here in the E minor position, seventh fret, it's much easier to push those strings down there than it is to push them down on the first or second fret. That's because we're close to the nut, the strings go up over the nut, and that creates a lot more tension here, so it really tears your finger up to try to push down a bar chord on the first fret or the second fret. So I encourage my students, even if you don't know what the name of the chord is, try it in the middle of the neck first and then inch your way down. Also, the frets are a lot closer in this area of the neck than they are down here. So let's start off with something that's a little bit easier and we'll work towards something that is harder. All right, that was a fifth string rooted bar chord. We also play bar chords on a sixth string root, for example, an E minor, where everything's open but the second fret on the fifth and the fourth strings. And I can bring that up to say the third fret, which would be a G minor, where it's three, two, three, five, five, three, 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 frets wise. And again, I'm barring all six strings there. Now, you want to make sure when you're doing a six string rooted bar that your index finger is not way, way past the six string hanging out of here in the air. 
Uh, the reason for that, there's a lot of downward pressure available on that fingertip. So we really want that fingertip to be sitting on the six string and not really protruding, protruding much past it. Again, take this particular shape, move it up and down the neck. It's easier to play in the middle of the neck. It's also a lot easier to play on an electric guitar. So if you have electric guitar and acoustic guitar, start by learning these on your electric and then we'll take them to the acoustic as you build the strength in your hands. I hope some of these tips I've given you on how to play bar chords will help you. Keep in mind, it's going to take hours of practice to get them. You're not going to learn how to play a bar chord in a week. So keep after it. Go to our website. You can use a looper function. It will go over any part of this video as many times as you need that. And I hope you find this useful. Thanks for tuning in.